Hi guys, um, I'm sure some of you already know me because I've been on the Moms View a couple times, but if you don't, my name's Callie Porter. So a little bit about me, um, I'm a mom, I'm, I'm a wife, my little daughter, I have one daughter, her name's Piper and she just turned seven months old this week. She's an absolute joy and being a mom is such an incredible journey and experience and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, my husband's name is Tyler Porter, you guys have seen him before here too. And uh, we live in Idaho, we have a great life here, we're happy, what else can you ask for? So my husband and I help produce The Mom's View, I help get all the guests, I help get all the Feature Fridays, which is what I'm doing today. Anyways, I'm so, so excited to be here with you guys today. I'm a photographer, um, I love to take photos, it's one of my passions, and my husband and I own a digital marketing agency together. So. That's a really fun adventure that we've been on for the last few years and uh, it's really exciting to kind of be self-employed and go through that route of life. Uh, there's more videos that talk about me earlier on in the Mom's View, so if you guys want to go learn a little bit more about me, you can watch those. But um, today, I just wanted to bring a little topic. Since I am a photographer, I wanted to talk about taking better photos for your Instagram, for your Facebook pages, or just for everyday life. So I have a few easy steps that we can follow and let's get started. The first step I have is to take all your photos with as much light as possible. And when I say light, I don't mean the fluorescent lights in your office or in your home. I mean real sunlight. Go outside, go by a window, get all the light you can because that will make all the difference in your photos. The second step is to have some kind of nice photo editing application. If you're on your computer and you know how to edit with Lightroom or Photoshop, those are my favorites to use, um, but if you are just using your phone, which phones these days can take amazing photos. Some of the apps that I like on my phone to edit photos with is um, the Visco app and also the Lightroom mobile app, which is free for everyone to use. You can download those and you can edit your photos. There's tons of tutorials on YouTube on how to do that. Um, so that's another step that you can take to get a better, better looking photo. The last step I have is, instead of looking at your phone to set up your picture, look at the situation with your own eyes. And if you look at it and you think, oh my goodness, that would be a good picture, then get your phone out and take the picture. If it looks good to you, it'll look good to other people. So make sure you're in an instance or in a situation where it's going to feel right, feel authentic, and it'll be a picture that you'll love forever. The last thing I have is just don't get caught up in all of the small details. Taking photos is supposed to be fun, they're supposed to create memories, they're supposed to evoke emotion within you. So go out, there really are no rules. Do whatever you want, just have fun taking photos because the more you take them, the more practice you'll get and the better you'll get at it. If you guys have any questions at all about photos, feel free to find me on Instagram, Callie.Porter, and I will answer any of your questions about photos. You can also find me on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is The Daily Porter. Thank you to The Mom's View for letting me come on and talk to you all today. I hope you have an amazing weekend and I'm sure I'll see you guys around again soon.